with you. This is to start your day. And our reading that's been chosen for today comes to us from the second epistle to Timothy, reading from chapter 1, verses 8 through 14. Chapter 1, verses 8 through 14. So don't be embarrassed to speak up for a master or for me as prisoner. Take your share of suffering for the message along with the rest of us. We can only keep on going, after all, by the power of God, who first saved us and then called us to this holy work. We had nothing to do with it. It was all his idea, a gift prepared for us in Jesus long before we knew anything about it. But we know it now. Since the appearance of our Savior, nothing could be plainer. Death defeated, life vindicated in a steady blaze of light all through the work of Jesus. This is the message I've been set apart to proclaim as preacher, emissary, and teacher. It's also the cause of all this trouble I'm in. But I have no regrets. I couldn't be more sure of my ground. The one I've trusted in can take care of what he's trusted me to do right to the end. So keep at your work, this faith and love rooted in Christ, exactly as I set it out for you. It's sound as the day you first heard it from me. Guard this precious thing placed in your custody by the Holy Spirit who works in us. Let's pray. Gracious Lord, in the face of the challenges to everything that we do and everything that we say and everything that we believe, help us to remain faithful to what we've been taught. Help us to remain faithful to the witness of Holy Scriptures, rooted in love, deeply, deeply entrenched in our faith, so that we who know what it is that you've done for us, that you've died for us, risen again, and given us life, eternal life, might share that good news with people who are hopeless. For only in you is there hope. Only in you might we find hope. Keep us in Scripture and help us to invite others in with us. In your holy name we pray. Amen. And now may the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. May the Lord look upon you with his favor and give each and every one of you his peace. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.